guys I'm just gonna say it I'm so happy to be, to be back on the kayak man it's a little windy right now but uh we can manage pretty sure we can it's not a big deal feels so good outside so water temp is uh, about 58 right now uh, let's look at outside temp real quick outside temp is about 60 degrees 59 no 63 sweet highs are gonna be 64 so what we're gonna do is well let me fix this real quick get off night mode all right there we go all right so my plan is I just downloaded this app a couple days ago it's called Navionics and what it does is it kind of gives me a layout of the lake it tells me where the holes are like here's a nine foot hole right here uh, there's our lake house right here yeah so it just tells me where all the deep holes are all right sorry if it's a little windy right now but I'll give you an example real quick so if I go to the menu I have 11 markers right here and if you can see that I've marked about 11 holes potentially you know holding fish so we're gonna check out all these different holes today probably stay in each hole for about an hour for example let's do hole number I don't know 11 boom hole 11 so I found this right here oh. I found this hole right here 24 feet I mean it's a big hole it's not you know small compared to like this one right here this is a hole right here that is a good hole so we're just gonna check out all different kinds of holes uh, see that's 23 feet but I don't know how that's gonna work because I mean it's it's hot I mean it feels really good outside so maybe the fish are out of the holes maybe they're feeding I don't know but it's uh, 2 p.m. and we're gonna give it a shot real quick guys it's it's really windy out here by the way all right y'all so yeah sorry about the sun right there yeah you can see it's really choppy right now I mean it's it's pretty windy out here but anyways we're gonna go right here to this hole right here uh, apparently it's about 20 21 feet uh, water levels are up right now so it could vary I have to mark this hole seven so we're gonna go to that hole real quick right here and we're gonna spot lock on here and we're gonna put some fresh baits down and see if we can catch anything so I'll see y'all when we get there all right so Apparently, I'm in about a 15 foot hole right now, and I'm marking a lot of fish at the bottom right here. Could be catfish. Uh, I'm pretty sure they are. I mean, those are some big marks right there, so we're actually going to drop some baits down right there, real quick. Let me spot lock real quick. Yeah, those are. Those are big marks, man. This actually might be a good spot because the wind is blowing this way so it's possible that fish are getting blown in this way and they could run into my baits i don't know but we are going to test it out real quick we got some good baits today guys we're going to use uh, crappy and shad heck yes It's gonna be a little bit hard to hear on the camera, my bad. And the sun is directly in the camera lens. Yeah. All right, first baits. We're gonna do a big old shad. Cut that thing up real quick. Got a head section and a body section. When we get to deeper water, I'm gonna throw out bigger chunks. For sure, definitely bigger chunks. But just for now, just to start off the video, we'll do these chunks right here. All 
ะฮะโดนเบอร์เกิน I don't know where this wind came from but we are spot locked pretty good All right, front rods are gonna be shad head those are the front rods First rod going down, about 17 feet. Boom. So because of all this current, as my baits are suspended about one to two feet off the bottom, they're almost gonna be like drifting with the waves at the bottom like this. Right here guys, just got smacked. Is he on? Oh man. Dude, he got smacked so good. No. Dang. All right, I had one hit on the shad head at this spot. Uh, I gave it about 30 minutes. Now we're gonna move to a different hole. A little bit deeper. right here that's probably all like crappy bluegill probably some shad along here but we want to see the bigger marks at the bottom so that's a lot of bait fish and stuff right there about 17 ish feet so there's definitely a lot of fish out here which is good we just need a big one all right we are at hole number two we got two shad heads on the front and i'm gonna switch out the back rods with some uh some crappy you guys know it's my mag my magic bait man so we'll do a crappy head cut off those fins and we'll do a a medium-sized midsection Go. We'll keep that for later. Okay. I'm not marking any fish, but I mean that doesn't mean there's not fish around here. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. We got about seven hours of fishing time until it gets dark. We'll fish until it gets dark. the body section going straight down all right body section and there is this rod's going to be the head section him hit it took off a little bit and just spit it right out damn that's the second fish that did that oh 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 no he's there uh yeah he's there he's there yeah we got him guys fish on nice blue that's a blue that's a nice blue sweet man we got him hold on buddy Get you in real quick. Let's get you in real quick. I'll use my fish grips on this. That was a shad head right there. First fish of the day. We just got the skunk off the boat. Heck yes, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. How is he hooked? Let's see. Is he hooked good? 
I'll just lift him up. He's yeah, he's good. All right, nice man. We got him. He is landed, man. All right, let's get that hook out real quick. Heck yes. I am a happy camper, man. First fish of the day on the kayak. Yes. Let's get you unhooked. That's a nice blue right there. I feel like he spit it out. He he went for it and then spit it out and then came back for it. That's what it looked like. But I, I don't know. I could be wrong. Let's see if I can get a hold of him real quick. Well, let's get this. Let's use a fish rip for that. All right, y'all. Oh, just spit that out. Give me a second. Y'all, first fish. Got us a blue. A nice blue, too. That was on a shad headpiece right there. Nice, man. No skunk. There we go. All right, y'all. Let's get him back in the water real quick. All right, buddy. I'll catch you next time. Boom. All right, so I kind of want to move spots. We got the skunk off the kayak. So we're going to move down there where I've caught a lot of fish. And thanks to the Navionics app, I so I'm currently right here in this hole right here I want to move down where is that I want to move down to like right about here about 20 feet and then we'll just work our way down but sweet man that was a nice blue let's keep going that bait he ate I mean it's still good but we're gonna put a fresh one on there down real quick I'm just happy we, we didn't get skunk today this rod right here guys this rod right here he spit it out Huh? maybe not is he on? He's playing with it. I must say he's on. He's swimming off with it. Let's see. Oh my god, man. Dang. <sighs> Alright, I guess not. Well, we got one fish and a couple bites. So, I mean, at least we didn't get skunked. So we're gonna head back to the house and fish off the dock uh, the rest of the night. But yeah, still, still a good time. Boom. Yeah, we got a we got a carp in there and a white perch. So we'll use those tonight too if we catch anything. If we lose some bait. All right, this one's just gonna go straight out. Bam. All right, y'all. I'm going to go eat something. And we'll come back out in about... We'll give it an hour. Oh, God. We got a slack line right here, guys. Good. Good flathead.
good flathead. Sweet man. Pick him up. Boom. Heck yes, first flat flathead. That's a good fish. Nice, dude. There he is. Nice flathead, man. Could have been bigger. Still a fish there. Sweet. All right. Yeah, that was a shad head. Let's let him go. Alright, catch you next time, buddy.